just a shout. Welcome to the KK Pressy TV. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. We do doll videos, Roblox, baking, and vlogs. We also do short films such as the story of Crazy Face, and we also do Talking Hot Show Challenge. A special thank you to Blue Blood Sports TV. Thank you so much for your support. We will continue to work hard and bring you more content. Bye! Show support. Subscribe to KK Penson TV. If you got children, if you got nieces, if you got nephews, if you got little cousins, if you have friends that have kids, make sure they subscribe to KK Penson TV. Please do that. Show love and show support. Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Courtney. And I'm Janita. And you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, in this video, we are going to expose Tyson Fury's cheating tactics. Newly crowned WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury is getting exposed by the day. Now we have undefeated, legendary, former pound for pound king, retired 50 and no, the man known as Money, Floyd Money Mayweather, and his video and his audio of Floyd Mayweather. And shout out to my brother Ikea TV for bringing this up and bringing this to everyone's attention because I forgot about this. And Floyd Mayweather ex totally exposes the fact that uh, uh, you can manipulate the glove. You can, uh, the boxing commission truly doesn't um, play a serious part because see, when you're talking about the glove situation with Tyson Fury, you get a lot of people coming out and saying, well, it's impossible to happen because of the boxing commission. Well, Floyd Mayweather exposes the boxing commission and he exposes the fact that you can indeed uh, manipulate your gloves and, and have your gloves, you know, broken in already and um, manipulated and the boxing commission will not address it, right? So Floyd Mayweather ahead of his fight with um, Marcos Madonna exposed this, right? Floyd Mayweather showed you that the boxing commission could be right there and be in agreement with gloves that's already broken in and manipulated as far as the uh, the, the cushion and the, the padding and the hair in, inside the glove goes, right? Floyd Mayweather exposes this, right? Floyd Mayweather let you know the boxing commission could be right there and they will do nothing about it. They will allow it to continue, right? So Floyd Mayweather exposes Tyson Fury and this um uh and the fact that you if you say that you cannot have uh you can't get away with this these types of um, methods. Let's just listen to what Floyd Mayweather had to say, shall we? This is boxing. This is not uh called bare knuckle brawl. This is this is not bare knuckle brawl. Uh, the last um, Mexican fighter we seen, you seen what he when he wore his gloves, you seen what he tried to do. Marguerite don't think we seen another top ranked fighter who fought a kid back in the day to where he died when um, Panama Lewis, <clears throat> Panama Lewis was in his corner. Another top ranked fighter, once again. So, I mean, these, these type of things happen in boxing. It's about keeping my sport clean. There's no patent. How you trying to fight in gloves with no patent? This, like I said before, this is not a bare knuckle brawl. You know, um, this is a sport, even though this is a brutal sport, still you got guys that's dying and, and, and getting getting beat with padded gloves. So this guy is trying to fight with gloves with no patent. It's about keeping my sport clean. What about the ones that were subsequently approved by the commission? Um, I'm not here to talk about no commission. The only thing I can say is this. Like I said before, this is not a bare knuckle brawl. Once again, it's about keeping my sport clean. Now we just heard Floyd Mayweather and his take on this, right? And uh, the people out there, the fans, the boxing pundits who don't address this, and the serious nature of this matter, uh, you know, should be ashamed of itself to say the very least. But let's just listen to what Tyson Fury had to say when Tyson Fury claims that he doesn't even like this glove. He doesn't like this brand glove. That Vladimir Klitschko was the A-side and Vladimir Klitschko, like when Floyd Mayweather says when he fought Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya chose the gloves, he chose the ring size, he chose the location. Uh, Tyson Fury in this video exposes his own self by saying that Vladimir Klitschko chose the location, Vladimir Klitschko chose the gloves, and I don't even like this brand of gloves. I would not have chosen to wear these brand of gloves. He chooses Everlast, right? And you can see 
In Tyson Fury's first fight with Deontay Wilder, he's wearing Everlast gloves. In his second fight after Deontay Wilder, he is wearing Everlast gloves against Tom Swartz. In his third fight after Deontay Wilder against Otto Valin, he's wearing Everlast gloves. Then miraculously, Tyson Fury chooses to wear these gloves that he claims he doesn't even like. If he had a choice, he would not wear this brand of gloves. But yet Tyson Fury chooses, ironically, to wear this brand of gloves in the biggest fight of his career, in the return, in the rematch, the highly anticipated rematch with Deontay Wilder, or I could say the second biggest fight of his career, because the first one was capturing it and becoming unified against Vladimir Klitschko, in which he wore these gloves. And you can see that the gloves that he wore against Vladimir Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko chose these gloves. Vladimir Klitschko too wore the same gloves. And guess what? Uh, Tyson Fury gloves, right, are fully padded. You can see in the pictures that Tyson Fury gloves against Vladimir Klitschko, right, are fully padded. They're not, they're not uh, um, uh, soft, right? And these are the same path and sport gloves that he's wearing against Deontay Wilder. Just the, they're red and gold against um, Vladimir Klitschko and against Deontay Wilder, they're green and gold. But you can clearly see in the picture, these are the same gloves. But let's just listen to Tyson Fury, his own self say, claim that he would not have ever chose to wear these pathing gloves because this is not his choice. He doesn't even like these gloves. So if he's going to fight Vladimir Klitschko, he's going to fight, at, if he's gonna use this brand of gloves, he's gonna at least have them be comfortable. Let's just listen to what Tyson Fury had to say because he stated that if he doesn't even put on a pair of gloves that are comfortable, he's not fighting Vladimir Klitschko. Yet you see in the picture, he's going to wear these uh, same pattern pathing gloves, P-A-F-F-E-N, pathing sport gloves, and they're fully padded. Unlike the ones he wear against Deontay Wilder in the knuckle area, they're fully padded. But let's just listen to what Tyson Fury had to say, shall we? This is the second pair of gloves that they sent me. And as you can see, this is a normal looking boxing glove, professional fight glove. 10 ounces, comfy fitting, perfect glove. Um, but I can say, and I mean this, if I don't fight in the right gloves, there's no fight. They've had it all their own way. I'm in Germany. I mean, he's because they've had it all their own way. I'm in Germany. I mean, he's the town he picked. I'm even wearing the bland of gloves that he wanted because I want to pick these anyway. Um, they've had they've had it all their own way in every single thing. But all I ask for is to be trekked fairly. I'm wearing these gloves, but I want the gloves that fit me. And another thing, I either get the gloves I want or there's no fight or we can do it bare knuckle. Do you know who I am? So as we see and we hear, Tyson Fury claims that he doesn't even like the brand Paffin. He doesn't like Paffin sports gloves, that he was forced to wear these gloves by Vladimir Klitschko because Vladimir Klitschko was the A-side. But yet six fights later, he chooses to wear these gloves. How ironic. He claimed to, in another interview, to like the Everlast gloves. And that Vladimir Klitschko, this was after Vladimir Klitschko fight, after he defeated Vladimir Klitschko, he claimed that Vladimir Klitschko chose these gloves that he did not like, and he still beat Vladimir Klitschko. He said that if he had a choice, he would choose Everlast. And the proof is there, because after uh, the Vladimir Klitschko fight, five fights after that, he has worn Everlast gloves. Then, going into the Deontay Wilder rematch, he chooses the Path and Sports Specialized Punchers Glove Edition for the Deontay Wilder rematch with no padding on the knuckle area in the fight now he was claiming that he was for sure going to knock Deontay Wilder out. Now, is that a coincidence? I think not. I think that it is um, by it was done by design that Tyson Fury had the knuckle area removed, just like the Marcos Madonna gloves that uh, he attempted to wear against Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather caught it and Floyd Mayweather tried the glove on and said there's no pattern in the knuckle area you either wear what I'm wearing or you don't wear any at all and you can hear Amir Khan even come out you go to Aki, Aki TV uh, he has an um, audio of Amir Khan on there and Amir Khan saying that there's plenty of boxers who manipulate the glove you could you could pick and choose what glove has more padding in right or left Amir Khan states that uh, that he calls Grant up and says, my right hand is hurting. Can you please place more padding in the knuckle area for my right hand? And he gets the okay. So Amir Khan goes on to say, and if you think about it, how many other people call and says, I don't want any padding. Could you distri 
distribute distribute the pattern towards the wrist area more so than the knuckle area is still going to weigh the same but the pattern is uh in different areas to make the weight right so tyson fury claimed that he didn't even like these gloves and he was being forced to wear them but yet you see him wearing them six fights later and miraculously they have no pattern in the uh, knuckle area tyson fury has never been known as a puncher but yet in this fight with deontay wilder he ends up and and uh injuring deontay wilder's eardrum and uh denting in his cheekbone right and so the uh, injuries align perfectly with, with tyson fury's right hand right amazing isn't it i think not it's not amazing i put nothing past the sport of boxing and neither should you everybody should want to look into this so you hear floyd mabel expose it and indirectly vitamin klitschko expose it because vitamin klitschko forced him to wear these uh brand gloves and he claimed he didn't even like these brand of gloves so we know what it is don't we we understand what it is but um that's all i got for y'all man and you think about this when people bring up the boxing commission and people talking about the uh, gloves being investigated well uh floyd mayweather just showed you that the boxing commission was standing right there with floyd mayweather trying on the gloves floyd mayweather showed the gloves are worn out there's no pattern in the knuckle area and the boxing commission was going to approve it so that's how much the boxing commission is worried about the safety and the, um investing how much they invest and and look into investigate and look into the uh, safety of the boxers and these boxing gloves that's all you need to know but uh that's all i got for y'all y'all already know what it is it's your boy blue blue blood sports tv hate like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notification follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all one word y'all already know what it is shout out to the entire l d b c shout out the new media shout out the black media role make sure you like and share these videos that's all i got for y'all peace Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.